Hello everybody. Hey, today I want to do a video about turkey broadheads for the stick bow, long bow, recurve, whatever. And uh, I've been fortunate and blessed to have, have taken some turkeys with a bow. And I actually have the broad, every kind of broadhead I've ever taken a turkey with in my hand. And these are not the exact broadhead I shot the turkey with, but the, the kind of them. And some, I mean, some of them may be, I'm not sure. I got them out of a bucket I got. But the first turkey, I, well, first of all, I've killed 20 turkeys with a bow. I killed three with a compound, and I shot all three of them with that muzzy right there, or a muzzy like that, 125 grain with the compound. And, but when I shot a, uh, when I, I've actually taken a lot of deer and hogs with these out of a, re, a black with a recurve. I used to shoot these out of a black with a recurve and a Bob Lee recurve. But I've never killed a turkey with one of these out of a traditional bow. Brother John killed a, a gobbler with one of these out of a traditional bow. But I've never shot a turkey with that, but I have with a compound. That's a good three blade head. That's a good turkey broadhead. And, uh, what I've probably killed, I can't remember the number, but I killed quite a few of my traditional turkeys with one of those. That would be a Magnus One broadhead. On this particular one, I got it in a steel adapter. It weighs 260 grains. But uh, I was shooting them with regular aluminum inserts at that time when I was killing turkeys with them out of uh, aluminum arrows. I think 2018s maybe. But I killed uh, killed several turkeys with those. Those are good broadheads. And I began to, I was shooting at that time probably around 50 pounds. And uh, I killed a lot of deer and hogs with those as well. I've probably killed over a third of the animals I've taken with a stick bow with those broadheads right there. They quit making them. That's a fine broadhead. It's really easy to sharpen. It's an inch and a half wide too. Good head. Don't have vents in it. it uh, you know, you you got to have your bow tuned for them to shoot, but they shoot good. All right, the next I've killed uh, quite a few turkeys with those. Simmons. And probably some of my latter turkeys I killed with these Simmons tiger sharks right here. I've killed uh, one, one turkey with that. I was hunting with Brother John out of a blind. I think it's the first turkey I ever killed out of a pop-up blind. And, uh, you know, it's one of the first turkeys I'd killed, but I killed uh, some muzzy phantom. And I, I killed a gobbler with that. I've killed a lot of deer and hogs with those broadheads as well. I didn't really, I like them, but they only weigh 125 grains. And I was shooting aluminum arrows in, and uh, I wanted more weight in the front of the air. And when carbons came out with the, where you could put the 100 grain brass inserts in there, you know, that's a good broadhead to shoot right there. Having 225 grains in the nose, it's a good broadhead. I don't even know if they make these anymore. They may. Then, um... I've killed some with the snuffer, big old Roth hair snuffer. It's an inch and a half wide. That's a good broad head as well. And I've, I've killed two with this tree shark, big Simmons two inch wide tree shark. That's a good broad head as well. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, penetration and thoughts on shooting a turkey in just a minute. That's a big broad head. I've killed deer and hogs with those two. The last turkey I killed, I hadn't killed a turkey in several years. I hadn't really hunted them that hard. But the last turkey I killed, I killed with one of those, a badger. A badger broadhead. Those, I, I'm actually the first person to kill a turkey with a badger broadhead. My good friend T. Patton up in North Georgia, I went up there, he was showing me around the mountains a little bit, and uh, I thought about going up there hunting some. He's a really good guy, and uh, they make these up there. And he's taking a lot of stuff with him. But uh, it's it's single bevel, sort of like a grizzly or something like that, and it's about that wide as well. But you have to be careful because it is barbed, and it may not be legal in your state. But that's a good broadhead. It flies, it flies really good. So there's the broadheads I've used killing turkeys. I've killed, I can't think of another one I've used if I, 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 don't, I don't know, I can't think of another one I've used. I've killed deer and hogs 
and turkeys with every one of them kind of broadheads I just shown you. And all with bows under 50 pounds, 50 or less. But one thing I'm going to tell you, I've had uh, shot placement is critical on turkeys. And I, I've, I've lost two turkeys. I shot one through the breast, and that's the only time I've shot a pass through on a turkey. I shot him through the breast, the arrow went through, and he flew off. I never got him. And uh, you want to shoot a turkey, I'll shoot him around the hips, or just above the hips, right in there. I want to break him down. The other turkey I lost, I wasn't shooting very many pounds, and I shot that big Simmons and hit him pretty much, excuse me, I hit him pretty much exactly where I thought I was supposed to hit him, and the air went in less than broadhead deep and fell out. And it, it, he couldn't fly, but he ran, and he ran in some jungle like this, and they'll burr up under stuff, and I, I never found him. I looked for him all day, and I couldn't find him. But I lost that turkey because the broadhead, number one, it had vents. I think that hurts penetration on something that's real bony, like a turkey like that. They, a turkey's bones are brittle and real hard. And, uh, I, I, you know, I, I've never really blamed anything I've lost on broadheads at shot placement. But I hit that turkey where I thought was right, and I just didn't get the penetration for the pounds I was shooting. I think I hit them really hard, brittle bones and broke some stuff where he couldn't fly, but he could still run. And uh, I didn't I didn't get that turkey. But the uh, woodsman, I've killed a few turkeys with this, and this is what's on my hunting area right now. This woodsman, I think, is the perfect balance for a guy shooting low poundage. If you're shooting a, a, a pretty efficient rig, that big snuffer or that tree shark is, is hard to beat. I'm talking about shooting turkeys in the body now. I'm not talking about head shooting. But this, uh, that Wenzel Woodsman is a good balance for a low poundage guy, even for deer and hogs. It's, it's lean, I mean, meaning it's like an inch. It's not real wide, but it's pretty long, so that helps in penetration. And uh, I've, killed, I've killed some turkey, turkeys with this. I think I've killed five with it. Five or six with one of these heads. But um, it's a good broadhead. I will tell you, one thing with turkeys, you'll see these, these gadgets that you can put on your air that's supposed to slow penetration. For a stick bowman, I, I will tell you, my opinion is don't do that. Because as I said, I've killed 20 turkeys with a bow, and even with a compound, with a compound now, I did shoot through two of them, but I was shooting some, some energy. But uh, with the stick bow, I only shot through the one turkey that I made a bad shot on and shot him through the breast. And I, I was shooting for the wing butt, and uh, that's not where you want to shoot a turkey at. You want to shoot that joker through the hips or just above, straight up his legs, middle, middle of the body. That way you can get your hands on him. If you shoot enough bow to get the broadhead in there, as I wasn't, I wasn't the, uh, the bird that I lost, I was shooting one of those. And I bet I probably got about this much penetration in them big wide, the big wide, don't matter how sharp it is, when it hits bone, you don't cut bones in half, not a, a real thick leg bone, you know, whatever up in there. And uh, so that's, people had asked me about broadheads on turkeys. And that's my opinion. If you're shooting a low poundage, that woodsman is a good broadhead to shoot. Or maybe that, that Magnus, Magnus 1 is two blade and it's, it's an inch and a half wide, but it has that length and that straight cut instead of that little curve that may grab something. So, uh, there you have it. That's my thoughts on turkey broadheads. If you're shooting some pounds, shoot the biggest one you can. Don't waste your money on a gadget to keep you from shooting through the turkey because you probably ain't going to shoot through the turkey with a stick bow. If you hit him good, that's a waste of money. I would, uh, you know, I like I like the woodsmans. I like the woodsmans for most anything, but I, I really, that's what I'll have on my turkey arrows is the Winslow Woodsman. So, uh, thank you all for watching my video and some some guys had asked me about turkey broadheads, so there you go. That's my thoughts on turkey broadheads, and I've I think 20 is enough to say that I have an opinion on them that may be somewhat educated, but I've not killed hundreds. Like some, I know some guys that I don't know them personally, but I know of guys who have killed like 100 plus turkeys with a stick bow, and uh, they have a really good opinion of them. But you know, I hear people talking about shooting turkeys with expandables out of a stick bow. I don't think you're going to get the penetration. I would shoot, uh, if you want to shoot a wide head, shoot that big, big Simmons right there. 
or either shoot the uh, big. Uh, I don't. They don't make snuffers no more. But Big Jim makes a. I think an inch and a half wide, or he sells an inch and a half wide three blade. I would go along those lines right there. You know, you have to be careful. You hear people say, uh, like, on the internet, you'll hear somebody giving super opinions on broadheads, maybe for deer hunting or whatever, and they've killed like four deer. And that's good, uh, you know, they've killed four deer, but is four shots enough for you to give someone advice on on taking animals with a broadhead? I mean, you could have four things that happen just right. Or you can have, I've heard people badmouth broadheads because they had one bad experience, and like always, it's usually shot placement. And so, uh, in my whole hunting career, I've only shot one animal and hit them in the right place and I felt the broadhead was caused me, and it wasn't the broadhead's fault. I was not shooting the gear to, to push it, and that was when I shot that turkey with that big wide head there. So uh, I won't make that mistake again. A, whiz, a woodsman, I think, I'd have shot on, on in there and got him, or any in narrow or head. So you gotta, you guys that that shooting some poundage and some efficiency, you don't have to that much to worry about on that. But shot placement is key on any critter you shoot. So uh, be careful about deciding on what you're going to do, what you're going to choose with just a couple of opinions. If you, you want to question mine, I would encourage you to do that and reach out and check with some other guys. But I do know that these broadheads here will work. And so uh, providing you got enough punch. If you're shooting lower poundage, I'd go with that little narrower head, just like you would on anything. So. Uh, Turkey season is, is actually in here in Georgia, but they it's really crazy the way they got it. You can't hunt the management areas for two more weeks. And uh, I have hardly any public land, I mean uh, private land I can hunt. I can hunt the uh, place I've been pig hunting at, but uh, they have a special permit you have to get just for turkeys, and I forgot to get it. So I, and it's, you get it by mail and it takes a few days, so uh, I'm going fishing until it comes. <laughs> oh yeah, sheep shape. I've been on my sheep shape diet for uh, five days. I've lost six pounds, and so uh, I'm going to get I'm going to get my goal and then some. So uh, thank you all for watching, and I appreciate the words of encouragement some of you guys had given me about getting in better shape. I already feel better. My energy level is picked up. So uh, thank you all for that. That's uh, turkey broadheads. I hope that helps some of y'all. Y'all keep the good Lord first. Count your blessings and love one another. Make somebody smile. See y'all next time.